Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. We are continuing with our preparation series for GATE Computer Science, UGC NET Computer Science and Bank IT Officer Examination. In today's lecture, we will study two previous year questions of C programming which appeared in GATE 2017. Alright, so the first question reads as Consider the following function implemented in C void print x y int of x and y are parameters inside we declare a pointer then assign x to 0 assign the pointer to the variable the address of x assign the value of the pointer where it is pointing to to y and then change the data of the pointer to 1 and then print x and y so we have to tell what will be the output of this function when it is called or invoked with parameters x and y so initially when it is invoked with parameters x and y equal to 1 each x is 1 and y is 1 initially this is 1 and this is 1 in inside the function we are declaring a pointer and this pointer will be pointing to x here that means we declare a pointer ptr and there is a variable x which is initially containing value 1 x is then changed to value 0 that means this becomes 0 the value becomes 0 then pointer is assigned the address of x so the pointer is referencing x then y is assigned data of the pointer that means the value of y will now become the value of x because star of ptr means the data of the location or the address where ptr is pointing and ptr is pointing to x so now y also becomes 0 now star of ptr becomes 1 that means x again becomes 1 here again we'll change the value these are the same things i'm just showing this diagrammatically and these are the exact values so and after a star ptr is assigned 1 we print f the results so here x is 1 y is 0 so the answer is c 1 comma 0 so it was a very easy question you just need to know what is a pointer how it is ref how it references and dereferences a value all right or how we use pointer to assign it a particular address of a variable and retrieve a, the value that is stored in that variable to which the pointer is pointing now let's come to the second question the second question states that in the C program there is a string or a character array which is pointed by C and this array is gate CSIT 2017 there is another pointer character pointer which is po again assigning the value of C that means if if I draw this array as this G A T E C S I T Two zero one seven, and I assign the index to these. All right. So initially, C is pointing to the starting location of this character array. Then P is also pointing to this location as well. That means the starting address of this array. And now we have to print the string length of this expression now what does c plus 2 of p minus 6 of p minus 1 mean when we say 2 of p that it is exactly similar to writing star of p plus 2 or star of 2 plus p that means we are referencing the second index of the pth array character array that means if p is pointing here we are referring to the second index which is t here all right and similarly 6 of p 6 of p is equal to star of 6 plus p which is equal to p of 6 the sixth index of p and here sixth index means character i all right so this is character t this is character i all right now solving the further expression c plus character t 
minus character i minus 1. Now c is the pointer to the starting of the array. t minus i means we are basically subtracting two characters and when we subtract two characters we actually subtract their ASCII values. So you, do, you don't have to be afraid that even you don't exactly remember what are the ASCII values of t and i or different alphabets. In case of subtraction you can just count the letters between these two characters and get the result. So if we start counting from i after i t is the 11th alphabet that you'll happen to see that means after i if you count j k l m n n o p q r s t so it will come out to be that the difference between the two is 11 so no matter what is their ascii value the value will come out to be or the expression will be reduced to c plus 10 now what does c plus 10 mean c is pointing to the zeroth index t c plus 10 will point to this index c plus 10 this was p of 2 this was p of 6 and this is c plus 10 all right and now we have to find out string length of c plus 10 c plus 10 is actually this string the string 17 so 17 is a string of length 2 therefore the answer of this question would be 2 so it is a little tricky but if you know that what does this representation say how do you subtract the characters when it the characters are given to you in an expression and what does actually addition of an integer value to the starting address of an array mean this value then it is not very difficult to find out so you have to be thorough with your concepts the basic concepts of c programming or pointers and character arrays all right so that was all for today's lecture if you like the video please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes to get more notifications on the upcoming videos and tell us in the comments below how did you find the video Thank you for watching, stay tuned and hit the bell icon to get more notifications.